MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. It's a light way of exchanging messages between devices like smart plugs and other Internet of Things devices, like Tasmoto smart devices. To use this, you will need to install an MQTT broker to handle routing of messages and install an MQTT integration. The settings may be located in slightly different positions by the time you watch this video. Here is the version that I am currently on at the time of recording. Firstly, you will need to install the MQTT broker. Go to Settings, Add-on, click Add-on Store and search for Mosquito Broker. Click Install. Once installed, turn on Watchdog. This will start the add-on in case it crashes. Then click Start. You can create a logon within the configuration or you can use a Home Assistant user profile. It's best to create a new specific user profile for MQTT and that's what I'll show you now. To do this go to settings, scroll down to people, click add person, give it a name like MQTT underscore user, click allow person to log on then enter a secure password. It's safer to enable can only log in from local network. Create. And that's the new MQTT user created. You can re reboot your Raspberry Pi. rebooting Home Assistant. Once rebooted, go to Settings, Device and Services and MQTT should have automatically been installed. Click configure, then submit, and it should automatically configure itself. But if MQTT has not automatically been installed, or you are having issues like I was, delete the MQTT, then click add integration, search for MQTT, then enter the details. The broker is core-mosquito. Then enter the username that you have just created, mqtt underscore user, and then the password. Click Submit. Then Finish. And that's it. MQTT is now installed and set up within Home Assistant, ready for you to use by your smart IoT devices like Tasmoto smart devices. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below.